hello and welcome to my channel so my name is much if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you for subscribing if you're a returning viewer and you haven't subscribed yet um i will ask you to subscribe so um, today i don't want to edit this video i just want to upload it live on youtube so today i just want to talk about building my house like the um, the backstory so back in 2015 i went on attachment i was attached to one of the um, more paying companies um i think it was knitting probably between five and eight hundred every month and when i went on attachment i was what um 17 18 um and although i was like the breadwinner of my family which was like bears and chair goods away the cost of living was really low i had so much access because back then i didn't drink back then i didn't go out i didn't party i didn't do movies i only watched movies on my laptop and did school and sleep basically so i had a lot of i had some money a bit of money and um I didn't know what to use it for so I wanted to buy a car because that was a symbol of if you go to an attachment that actually pays well you would come back to school with a car um, but then because um, of how I grew up and how my family was living I wouldn't have anywhere to park the car so one of my family members tells me oh hey um, go cancel Kobdama stands and cancel back then required um to just pay um i wasn't even on the waiting list you see so all i needed to do was to pay the waiting list money and the deposit and then pay a monthly um installment for the stand for i don't know how many years three years i knew like after that year i wouldn't have money to do that monthly installments but my family member i can simply say you know what this is government things you pay as you get it and when i was in college i was making a little bit of money on the side so i could service a little bit of the money not the entire amount uh, so 2015 that's when i did the deposit and everything got allocated a stand that farming season on goes to um you can go on my instagram i think in my reel i'm gonna put it so that farming season on goes to um 2016 graduated still had no money um again um then 2017 i started cta and in my cta year i realized you know what um, it's basically going back to school and I don't have money and I don't have money to actually take care of myself worse still to take care of my family so I needed a plan to make sure that I didn't at least have rent to pay at home um, because when you're like back at school full-time it's my it's a mess so I went to I, I, I got, as Chris would have it I had a, um, a tell one brand ambassadorship and with that i built a boy sky like it was two rooms so my family moved into the boy sky um and mind you i hadn't finished paying for the stand however the council allowed us to they said just pay some so that you're up to date with your installments and then you could build a boy sky and an external toilet i did that and then my family moved that was 2017 2018 i started working um at deloitte um and you know like working you don't end that much but i used to have out of town clients so when you have a goal it's easy to save and to find the money so because i needed to finish off paying for the stand and shit i finished paying it off using the money from out of town allowances and then i actually decided you know what since i'm done let's start with the plan approval process built um looked for a plan paid for it um and i think my plan was approved february or march 2020 just before the pandemic hit that's when my plan was approved and because i was still doing articles i couldn't build the entire house so what i decided to do was to, to actually start rebuilding three of three rooms of the one two three four five 
six, seven of the seven rooms that needed to be built, the three rooms, so that they could at least have like a, a decent house. My plan was to make build them up to the top, um, tile it and paint and everything, so that they could have like a decent place to stay. Um, while I figure out my situation, as nature would have it, I actually did. But as soon as it it took me so long to do those three rooms, like to get the map and stuff. So, um, I think getting into 2021, I then realized it doesn't make sense for me. Then I realized, um, since I had already, since I'd qualified, um, it was best to just, um, do the whole house. So, I started building it slowly um, but surely 2021 and then I think around May, June transitioned out of articles started a little bit more so I started to pick up a little bit of path and I think by January 2021 the externals was done we're done but the interiors guys yo building is such an expensive sport so as you can see, I did not build this house overnight. I started in 2015. So don't ever get me building the house or people doing things on social media. Putting in a trap of they're doing so well right now. Um, sometimes it's just because it's a project that started years ago. Um, and also don't think that because people are doing senseless things on social media, they're not doing sensible things at home, you know. Um, so I'm going to do a Q&A about building the house um the costs building versus buying um yeah um i'm gonna put up a story on my instagram for questions so if you have questions be on the look after this video is i'm gonna actually do the video um, for the question on instagram so just go check it out and then another thing i just wanted to let you guys know that it was really important for me to build this house my family's been through so much and this house is not even mine it's theirs i, I built it of course but it's theirs and also it's for me to just have somewhere to go home um my family's been through so much and most of it was also because of me like we moved out of our Munda, Kohanda's Road, because people were trying to um, find me a place for school. Um, and also, like, their livelihood, of course, but also they made me a really big consideration of what the family did because they were really hoping that this would work out for me. So, I think it's only right that, you know, like when we started staying in Gweru, we were staying this place that didn't have doors. And then when we started staying in Chegutu, this place didn't have windows. And sometimes we even slept like at a railway station trying to figure shit out. So it really means so much to me to be able to do this for my family. And I think it's one of the reasons why I couldn't go to London. It's one of the main, main, main reasons why I couldn't go out. And it's really worth it. Like seeing it come to shape like you get excited at every stage oh my god no we're not by wall flat now oh my god it's ruined now we're done doing the glazing for the glasses now we're doing the floors we're going to buy towels we're going to like look at the towels choosing the towels we're going to look at the paint oh my goodness it's so good like the feeling is just so good and i really thank god that i got to do this and i get the opportunity to actually do this for my family so see you guys in the next video and um, thank you for stopping by